the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about the Sprint and T-Mobile merger here so I'm on usatoday.com here and it says that Bruce Mobile's founder is against the T-Mobile Sprint merger here's why so the uh, person who found Bruce Mobile he's not against, he's not for the um he's not for the Sprint T-Mobile merger he is against it and he doesn't want it to happen so let's hear what he has to let, let's go see what he has to say about it guys so, this article, so this article got posted on Monday, so um, yeah, this is very interesting, and and let's just see what he has to say about it. All right, it says the founder and former CEO of Boost Mobile says the proposed T-Mobile Sprint merger could not happen, should not happen, should not happen. Certainly not unless Boost, which is currently owned by Sprint and Metro PCS, a unit of T-Mobile, are spun off. So that's interesting there. Peter Adderin, who still runs who still runs Boost in Australia from his home in Los Angeles, says he's concerned about the more than thirty million prepaid wireless customers who would be consolidated under the new T Mobile. So he's like, so he's like concerned about the prepaid uh, carrier. He's he, he's concerned about the about the prepaid carrier, about the prepaid customers and stuff like that. Um, and if you guys know, there is a Beast Mobile Australia, and it says that the dude runs it from his home in uh, Los Angeles. So that's pretty interesting there. Um, you know, they're, they're also talking about uh, you know. So. Says though the, the the distinctions between prepaid and postpaid phone service are getting buzzier nowadays. Prepaid plans tend to cater to more budget conscious customers who pay in advance for the service they think they will use. Metro PCS, Boost, and Sprint, and Virgin Mobile USA, uh, and then to miles such brands, sir. Right? Um, here's a quote, I guess. Uh, here's a quote from the um, from the uh, from from the founder of Boost Mobile, and he says, "quote They are they are they are the challenger brands in the space, and they have the lowest rate simply because they are competing with each other so aggressively for prepaid customers." Adam said. Just recently, Boost offered two months of free service for any MetroPCS customers who switched. Only hours, only hours later, MetroPCS came out with the same offer. Why would T-Mobile do that if they owned? Why Why would T-Mobile do that if they owned the two businesses? Why are they going to? Still, one from the other, literally, literally fishing from the same pond, which is their own pond. End quote. Okay. T-Mobile, which is the nation's third largest, what T-Mobile, which is the third nation's wireless carrier, and Sprint, which is fourth, agreed to a 26 billion dollar merger in April, but the deal still. But the deal must still satisfy government re regulators, which won't be easy. Critics contend, critics contend that prices in post-merger environment would rise, and that jobs will be lost. So, uh, this T-Mobile Sprint merger it has not happened yet, and it could all fall. But you know, we 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 just have to wait and see on that. A lot more here. It says there's some more. Uh, and then, uh, then the uh, founder of Boost Mobile he goes on and say, "Quote: What happens when you have five branded stores in a strip mall? Well, you don't need five. T-Mobile CEO John Ledger and his Sprint 
counterpart Marcella Keeler have been trying to convince regulators otherwise claiming that the deal will result in more jobs, not less. Both of, them, both, of them, both of them did say that in their video saying that when this when this merger will help will help create jobs and stuff like that and whatever. So we will have to wait and see about that, alright? And it says Ed Duran is also concerned about the future of so called NBA News, the mobile companies that negotiate, negotiate wholesale rates with the major carriers, including ATT and Verizon Wireless, then we sell the service under their own brand names. Here's another quote from uh, from the founder of Boost Mobile, and he says, "Quote: Given that Sprint and T-Mobile are a dominant force in prepaid, they will have a significant incentive to restrict network access to competing NBNs." He says, "If the Boost Mobile and Match Pieces brands are included in this merger, it will be bad to it will be bad for the overall competition landscape, bad for the prepaid market, bad for the our, bad for our countries." NBA news and bad for the economy. End quote. He plans to tell lawmakers and regulators just that. <sighs> In the meantime, Ed Turton also said that he would be welcome a face-to-face -face debate with Ledger and Clear to ask them to explain to me how. Explain to me how they intend to manage boost much PCS price war and how do they strategically ensure that we have the competition that we have today. Don't be don't bet on such a direct encounter happening anytime soon. So that's why that the uh founder of Boost Mobile don't want the sprint merger to happen. Don't want the sprint team mobile merger to happen. Um, because he says that um It'd be bad for the economy, it'd be bad for the competition, stuff like that. Um, what do you guys think about this? Do you, do you guys agree with him? Um, are you guys are, are you guys for the team of a sprint merger? Are you guys against it? What are your thoughts on that as of right now? And like I said, guys, even though the team of a sprint, they agreed to a $26 billion uh, deal in April, the merger could still fall. We just, have to, we just have to wait and see about it, guys. You know, this is not, if this does end up becoming official, the merger, the merger will take a while for it to um, be complete because you know how it is. And, um, you know, um, so I don't know if this merger does get, it does, it does, if this merger does get official. I don't know what's gonna happen to Metro PCS and Boost. I don't know if they're gonna combine the two or keep them separate. I don't know what's gonna happen to Virgin. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen with Virgin Mobile. I guess they're still gonna do their own little iPhone thing or whatever. To me, guys, Virgin Mobile is dead. In my opinion, that's just my opinion, guys. You know, even though Virgin Mobile is still, they're still kicking, but but a lot of people are not going to Virgin. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're still getting customers, but not in the uh, large number. As it was back in the day, though, because they're only at iPhones on Red Mobile now. So, um, that's what the uh, founder of Beast Mobile is against the uh, merger, and you can you can read his reasons why. He has some quotes here. Um, and then you know he talks about the two months of service thing. If you guys know. That Boost Mobile offered the two months of service first, and then not long after that, Metro PCS had did it as well, and they're still offering now on Metro PCS. If you switch to Metro PCS, you can get two free months of service on Metro PCS. I don't know if Boost Mobile still doing that or not. I'm not sure. You have to contact Boost for that. But I know that Metro, I know, I know that Metro PCS is doing it, but you have to switch over to Metro PCS and do it. And I think you have to put your number of Metro PCS for it for you to get that plan. Um, 
and you know he talks about the um about the video that um that T-Mobile CEO John Ledger and Sprint CEO Claire made about the job about the T-Mobile merger and about how it will create jobs and it was like my 5G in that video. And it also says that the uh, founder uh, founder of Boost Mobile is concerned about the future of MVNOs. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with all this. You know what I'm saying? So the uh, founder of Boost Mobile gave his uh, gave his opinions about this. So you know, read this for yourselves and um, let me know what, what you guys think about it. Do you guys agree with them? Are you guys for the merger? Are you guys against it? What are your um thoughts about it? You guys think prices will go higher once the merger is complete? Um, because that that he and he was and he was also talking about the prices that could be on the rise. So if you're paying like I think you're paying thirty five bucks for base service, you could be paying more. So um, but like I said, guys, only thing we can do is just wait and see, guys. We'll see, we'll wait and see what happens with this, because this merger could fall. So there's nothing that's not been all uh, confirmed yet. It still has to go through the U U.S. government and stuff like that, and all the regulators and all that. They have to approve it. Um, so we just have to wait and see. So um, yeah. Do you guys agree with the founder of Boost Mobile? Do you guys agree with him? Do you guys disagree with them? Let me know. Let me know what you get. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section of the video. So, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.